What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the NWA Northwest Airlines and the newer livery 747 Airport Playset. So this video kind of coincides with my most previous review video where I reviewed the Northwest Airlines 747 Playset in the original bowling shoe livery. So this was the newer livery of the Northwest Airlines model that was produced from around 2003 until 2010. So uh, this video is also going to be another one of my video remakes where I simply just remake some of my older videos to give a more in-depth review of the model. So uh, this model was produced from around 2003 to 2010 when uh, North once Northwest Airlines had merged with Delta. It was produced as a single plane in a normal airport playset. There actually were several different playsets that were produced. Uh, one of the most common ones was the one that I have with having the stock image picture of the playset in the bottom right corner and then having three vehicles. But there also was a slightly, slight, slightly older version of this model that was produced. The livery is exactly the same apart from a few minor differences in the uh, placements on the logo design and on the stickers. But uh, This is one of the older models that was produced probably sometime around 2005. Uh, one of the first ones that were made. And uh, I believe this one probably came as a single plane. I don't have the box for it. It kind of came in a set with a bunch of other models. But it was one of the uh, first NWA Northwest uh, 747s. So uh, a couple of the, the, really the only other place that, that it came in was there was one with the newer Darren logo that was, um, did not have the stock image place set and had four vehicles. And then I believe there was uh, one in the, uh, with the older Darren logo that had the all four vehicles as well. And I think all the vehicles have pretty much been the same since when this model was produced. So uh, Northwest Airlines, in case you didn't know, was a major U.S. airline that lasted from 1934 until 2010. So I did find out, I, I forgot to kind of research this in the previous video where I reviewed the bowling shoe livery uh, playset. So Northwest had lasted from, from 1934 until 1947. 1947, they changed their name to Northwest Orient. And then they, had, they kept that name until 1986 when they went back to Northwest Airlines. And then they introduced the bowling shoe livery in 1989. And then uh, all the way until 2003 is when Northwest had first introduced their NWA livery. And then it lasted from 2000 until, all the way until 2010 when they had merged with uh, Delta Airlines. So Northwest Airlines actually uh, was not, uh, did not go bankrupt or did not merge with Delta not too long ago. Uh, was it 14 years now? I think, it, yeah, it's 14, 14 years now. So it uh, kind of definitely seems a little longer than that to me. So I got this playset off of eBay uh, a couple years ago, and it actually is not that rare of a uh, model. Uh, you can find uh, so many different listings of the NWA 747. Uh, whether it being a model that is slightly damaged or used without the box or any playset vehicles or one uh, with the full complete playset or a single plane version. Uh, usually whenever I've seen them when they have the complete either the complete playset or the new condition they're usually not for a cheap price. Uh, usually um, even the single plans can go anywhere from like 30 to 50 dollars which definitely for a single plane of this model is definitely too expensive. I'd say the overall value of this model for a new condition single plane probably would be um, definitely less than $30. Uh, since this model is not that old, and this one actually, the one I have was actually produced in 2010, and it actually does have a manufacturing date on it. So any model that really does have a manufacturing date, just to me, I don't think of as being really old. So uh, this model does not have one, the older version, because it was uh, pre-2010. But um, I kind of consider them as being two different versions, but there really is no differences in the liver design. The only the only slight difference really is the placements on like on the tail where the uh, red design is placed on the newer one it is placed a little bit higher up than it is on this one. Same with some of the other logos, uh, the, everything is placed a little bit higher up on the newer one than it is on this one. And then the KLM and Northwest Reliability logo is slightly different on this one than it is on the newer one. But other than that, the livery design is pretty much exactly the same, so I really wouldn't... 
be so if you're any collector like me that really wants to get some of the uh whenever models are newly updated to be fully painted when they'll even though the livery design is exactly the same definitely not something to go and try to get try to find one of the older nwa models because their livery is pretty much exactly the same so uh, personally, I really do like the older livery a lot better than the NWA. I'm not really sure why. I haven't really looked into it, why they changed it to uh, NWA instead of just keeping it as Northwest, or honestly just keeping it as the bowling shoe livery. Um, but yeah, so that pretty much is all of the information for this model. So now getting into the review of the playset. So up at the top, you have the NWA logo with, again, the same thing that was included on the older uh, logo design on the bowling shoe livery with having the, um, I'm sure if you can really see it, but having the same concept of the logo with the arrow pointing in the northwest direction. Uh, one of the main things I honestly don't, I didn't really care for on the newer livery was how they uh, made the lettering lowercase instead of capitalized. I just think with the lettering being capitalized it would have looked a little bit more professional um but that's just me talking so but yeah so you have the red arrow pointing in the northwest direction although i do like how it the emphasized the arrow a little bit more on the updated livery with having the red arrow like more emphasized being more vibrant that you can actually see it uh and then nwa northwest airlines and then airport place in the corner and then you have a slight uh, red mark in the top right corner. So you have the main part of the playset is in the dark gray coloring and then kind of the upper the top portion of it is in the uh, lighter gray. You have the new Darren logo down at the bottom left corner and then you have the stock image for the NWA airport playset there on the bottom left corner and then on bottom right corner and then you have the diecast metal and plastic parts displayed on the bottom NWA Northwest Airlines displayed on both sides again and then on the back you actually do not have a box or image of the playset but other you do have an actual picture of the Northwest uh, 747. I don't think this is the same uh, one that was used the same registration number that was used yeah uh, the registration number on the older one I have is the same one as on the other one. I don't even think this is a real one. N12345, yeah, I definitely don't think that's one. That's a real registration number. Um, but yeah, so the registration number that is on this one is uh, November 661 uh, US uh, with the American flag below that. Uh, the, I kind of like these playset bo the boxes whenever they have something different than the average playset uh, box or image. Um, just adds a little bit more character to it. So I definitely like this design uh, as well with a nice blue background, the blue sky background. NWA logo at the top with Northwest Airlines, 747-400. Then the airport playset down at the bottom with the Darren logo. Relatively simple design, uh, kept it single, simple. Uh, I think there is kind of signs of the original price tag on uh, this playset. But the like I showed in the previous video, my uh, Northwest... Uh, 747 playset in the um, bowling shoe livery actually does have the um, original price tag on it. So this model was actually from 2003 with the date being April 30th of 2003 and actually the original price tag on it. Definitely was a great price for this model back then. Um, but yeah, so uh, that pretty much is all for the review of the box. So like usual, I'll pause the video real quick and take out the plane. And actually also will do a quick comparison with the NWA 747 and the Northwest 747. So here is the NWA 747 Airport playset. And I have the older version included right here in the back. And then I have the bowling shoe livery included right here in the middle. So um, in, in case you hear me say differences between uh, Northwest and NWA, whenever I say Northwest, that pretty much I'm just referring to the bowling shoe livery. And if I say NWA, I am referring to the uh, newer livery uh, NWA 747. So just to kind of keep some, have some sort of differences between them to tell them apart without having to say the bowling shoe livery every time I want to refer to the bowling shoe livery 747. So, and honestly, the livery designs are so different with the names and stuff, too. I just honestly consider them as completely different planes. So, but yeah, so uh, starting off with the review of the newer livery, the main, main point of the video. So, so up at the front, you have the 747 cockpit windows right there. And uh, the whole plane is, of course, in the really nice 
uh, shiny silvery chrome livery. You can actually you can actually see some of the paint there or the paint throughout it with the reflective silver kind of. Uh, I can compare it kind of to glitter, I guess you could say. You can kind of see it though. Um, it's not like the American with well, the American Airlines models that were in the chrome livery actually weren't even they didn't even have chrome on it. So uh, th that is definitely something I do like about these models and the livery design is with the chrome that they included on it, but. So yeah, 747 cockpit windows up at the front, and then you have the uh, NWA logo right there, and then you, the arrow, you can see a nice vibrant red coloring. The circle, uh, NWA, and the lowercase lettering, and the Northwest Airlines is slated right beneath that. And then further down the plane, you have the Northwest and KLM reliability logo there in the small lettering. And then you have the windows that go throughout the entire cabin, and then on the rear of the plane, you have the non-real non registration number, which is November 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you have the American flag right below that. There are no designs on the engines. They're the same exact coloring as pretty much the whole entire plane is in the exact same gray coloring. Then you have the red wing clips on the um, on the each uh, end of the wings. Uh, and then you have the uh, other vibrant red part of the plane, which is on the tail, with the enlarged uh, Northwest Airlines logo right there, with the arrow pointing in the Northwest direction. So, going back to what I said before, honestly, I I really like the bowling shoe livery a lot better than the newer one. Honestly, I think a lot of people could back me up on that, too. Uh, the bowling shoe livery just it had a lot more... Um, design to it i think it was a, it was classic and it kind of just gave it more character than new, than the new livery the nwa uh the nwa livery really just kind of simplified it to what lots of airlines uh, liveries are now kind of like when american airlines went from having the chrome livery to the livery that they have now personally for me that was a pretty big downgrade so, usually in uh, my videos, I don't really say much about the new liveries. I usually say that the, they're nice, but honestly, I really wasn't a fan of the NWA livery. I, I really think they should have kept the Northwest, especially since the, they only had this livery design for seven years until they eventually merged with Delta. So, it wasn't even, didn't even last that long. Um, but yeah, I just, I definitely think the bowling shoe livery, they should have definitely kept with it. Um, I think they definitely ha still had some of these. They must have had and not repainted all of them, but yeah. So once again, I like the bowling shoe livery a lot better than the newer one. Um, yeah, I think if they were going to update their livery, maybe they could have updated the bowling shoe livery to have a larger logo on the tail, kind of similar to what the NWA livery has. But I don't really, I really want to know why they had, the, why they did NWA instead of having Northwest. Like, was it really that hard to keep Northwest displayed on the tail? But Anyway, this airline's been gone for 14 years now, so I can't really say anything about it. But, yeah, so I'm not going to review the bowling shoe livery because I did that just in my most previous video. Um, but I will move on to the vehicles before I get into the older model. Uh, so, uh, the NWA bus has the, um, most of it is in the light gray coloring, the NWA logo, Northwest Airlines, and then the red top. The main difference, I can tell, um... The top of it on the bowling shoe livery has the, and the place that has the logo on the top. This one doesn't really have many logos apart from the really small lettering here. Uh, even the bus, I definitely like the bus on in the uh, Northwest, the bowling shoe livery a lot better. Uh, and then you have the stair truck, same exact light gray coloring with the logo sticker, stickers, NWA, NWA Northwest Airlines on the sides. And then the NWA catering truck with the sticker and NWA logo and the Northwest Airlines logo on the side as well. And also in the uh, light gray coloring. I, I definitely think they could have added a little bit more red on those. But um, anyway, so moving on to the older version. So there really aren't too many noticeable differences apart from, I mean, I guess maybe the KLM. Reliability, the Northwest Kalen Reliability logo is a little bit darker on the older one and is lighter on the newer one. Um, and then some of the window placements, the older one has more, I guess you could say oval shaped windows on the older one. And then um, kind of representing more of the older uh, design on the older models and then the newer one has the newer design. 
Uh, also on the new delivery, you have the manufacturing date on the bottom. I forgot to mention that earlier, which is May 26th, 2010, with the Rotary logo on the main landing gear. The older, the older version does not have a manufacturing day, which is because uh, it was pre-2010. But yeah, so uh, one of the main differences I kind of added, I'm not sure if you really can tell, but it is slightly higher. The logo design is a little bit higher on the newer livery than it is on the older one, if you kind of put them together. It is a very slight difference, but it was kind of to the point where I didn't notice it. I also didn't notice that the American flag looked a lot better on the older one than it did on the newer one. But... I don't even know that if they really consider that as a difference because honestly, every other model, every model does have some sort of difference in it between where the stickers are paint are placed and where the um, where the ink is printed out on it. So, but yeah. So, well, that pretty much is all for today's video. So, thank you all so much for watching, and let me know down in the comments what you guys' opinions are on this model. Usually, I don't say I don't. I usually don't say my um, opinions like that on. Most of the, and most of the review videos, because uh, usually, usually I do like the liveries, but I just really was not a fan of the NWA livery. So, but let me know down in the comments if uh, what your opinions are on the uh, Northwest livery. Do you think if you like the NWA livery better, or if you like the bowling show bowling shoe livery better, and if they should have kept that? So once again, thank you all so much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.